Well, hello, folks. What we're going to do today, I'm going to build a model diorama for my parents' Christmas present. A diorama? A train set could be classed as a diorama if you're not sure, but I'm sure anyone watching this will know what they are. So what are we going to do? What are we going to use to make this diorama? The thumbnail will probably give it away. Oh well. Roll the credits. <laughs> Welcome to Norfolk Man Cave on Trains. Let the games begin. So folks, on our bench we have what we're going to use to make our diorama. Basically, a basket and some scraps and leftover styrofoam. And we're going to see if we can patch this into some sort of landscape. Not doing a cityscape, it's going to be purely rural. And what I was thinking was... If I can move this stuff and do this one-handed until I get this camera mounted. I've got my polystyrene. There it is, a stick insulation. I had a big scrap sheet of that. And I've cut that so it fits inside said basket. What I was thinking, putting some cliffs this end. Using these, I can carve some cliffs out of these somehow. A tunnel sort of coming out of the cliff. And I've got an old scrap model engage steam train. So I can have a tunnel what come out of a cliff with a couple of bits of track where the track stops with a little buffer and an abandoned train on it. And then some grass, some rocks perhaps. I don't know, a rocky outcrow. Rocky outcrow around here. I don't know. But we'll try and sort something out, some trees. We'll see what we can do. See how far we can get in this video. Right, let me get this camera and a tripod and we can get started. So what I'm thinking, we have our basket. If we mark out where I kind of roughly have here on this thing, we can get this to sit basically in the end. So ah, the easiest way to cut styrofoam I found is with a serrated bread knife. I find it really nice to cut. And the bread knife is actually quite flexible as well. So you can actually cut some pretty good corners with star with um, a bread knife. There we go. Right, we have our star of film fitting nicely in there. If there are small gaps, it doesn't matter, it's a diorama. You can fill it, gap fill it, block it, whatever. But, right, that'll do nicely. So I think what we need to do now is, we need to build a bit up on the top somehow so what can we use to build a piece up on the top hmm what are we going to do using our bits of scrap star of them right so I just mark around there and mark around here We'll know where we've got a cut. We have a bit around there. Around here. And are we starting to fit anyhow? Yep, we're fitting all right at the back. 
this can all be filled in with gap filler so we're not worried about that you know there's no straight lines in nature so this don't have to be in any way perfect it's not meant to be perfect it's meant to be rustic so I think if we bond him to there and then we, later on we can bond that to there is that tall enough I wonder if I should put a cardboard rim around the back to give us a backing what do you reckon get a piece of stiff cardboard and make it look sort of backing up just to give us a backdrop what we can bond this to really yeah yeah I think that's what we might do so um all right let me get a bit of cardboard and we'll go from there so I've cut a piece of cardboard white on the back gray on the front and this is 12 inches by 4 inches high. So we need to form, get this to form the curve. This is quite thick cardboard. So I'm hoping to do it without doing too much kinking. So we can just get this to fit round the back. So that like fits the contour of the basket like so. Maybe trim these edges down. Yep, I think if we trim these edges down, we can, yeah, we can glue this and block fill it all in there. Now I'm not going to glue this to the polystyrene yet, because I really would like to see if we can get it to us removable. So if I ever need to take this all out of the basket, we can. Um, that might be a tall order but I think if I draw and trim and let me get my pen and we'll see if we can draw and trim basically where it needs to come probably there and up to there what's that look like or is that not steep enough? We want to come in here. Yeah. Yeah, I reckon something like this will look fine. Let's lift this out, get my heavy scissors, so I might have to just drive a pin through here to hold it in the polystyrene. Put some glue along the back. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna have to do. Just put some glue along the back and basically pin it and leave it to set. Glue this cardboard onto the back of this. Do this. Yeah, and I think we'll be about right. And I can fill all this in with block filler. I'll show you what I'm gonna do anyhow. Here we have some cheapest chips, no nails. We'll use that. And oh, oh we've got some other stuff here. We've got some, oh, this one's been open. Let's see if we can get any out of this. That's some harvest nails. This is all stuff out of the palm shop. And this is flexible filler. Perfect. Absolutely perfect.
go. Which will just give that something to key to. So that can go there. That can go there. That can go there. This edge in there, I'm not worried about that. You'll see, of course, the miracle of flexible filler is, oh, you can do so much with it. So I need some pins now to drive this through there to hold it. Right, let me see if I can find some pins. So what I managed to find, I found three long screws. So we just pin this in place with screws. Purely a pin it to the polystyrene. Right, them screws. If you look, now starting to come through. There you go. So what we want to do now is put some glue right along the back edge. So, right, here's our gun. So let's put a generous bit of no nails all the way along the back you don't care if it squidges it doesn't matter there we go and we've put a nice generous piece of no nails around the back of that so now we can slide that where we want it Hopefully, this, there you go. See, that's all squeezing out the back. That's exactly what we want. We need it. That cardboard needs to form the shape of the basket. Now we can just put our screws in, which will just hold it in place. We will now glue the other bits in as well. I hope this is going to work and it isn't going to pop out when I try and take it off. No, it's perfect. Right, now we can be bonding this piece in. And this piece. They can now be bonded on top. that start to come out there we go yep so our cardboard's now pushed bearing in mind this is not glued to the basket so if you ever want to take this out of the basket we can but we aren't going to do too much on this bit until that's dry because i do want to cut a tunnel in there but that'll be after this is dry and this lot is bonded together i can then norm a tunnel out to see what i mean but this needs to be perfectly dry, so that'll be tomorrow before I can actually do that. And you've got to bear in mind this basket I actually this basket I actually had given to me. And this is made out of scrap styrofoam, so there is nothing. There's nothing what cost really a lot of money in it. This is all just basically scrap stuff. Can we still get any out of this? I have a dried up. Hey, now we can get something out of it. Now with our cap filler, we want to just fill up around these edges. There we go. 
So really, we can now leave this to dry. So, what have I done with this little diorama now? I've done a little bit more. Oh, camera. It's been about two hours since we did the last slot, and I got too impatient. And um, I put a little roof over. Yeah. I'll put a little, I'll cut a little tunnel out while it's still wet. As you can see, you can see in the bottom. Let's see if I can get you in there. You go. You can see into the bottom. So we've done a little tunnel in there and put a little roof on it, made it that cardboard, and that's just stuck on again with our glue. There we are. So what I was thinking is I've drawn the purple lines on there are where our train track's going to go. So I've decided to put the train track in. So our train line will sit there and we can have our little train on the bone yard here. So we can have that carriage Still coming out of the tunnel we can either put the locomotive on there or leave the locomotive off and just have it as a scrap area for what do you reckon just have a couple of carriages parked in there I've got two or three of these little carriages I even got a couple of little buildings I can use a bit modern but I have got a couple of little buildings um, Spare buildings from the train layout. We could always put. Well, that needs weathering. It's got cobwebs on it. Yeah, that needs heavily weathering. But we could put that there as like an outcrop for a little station house. Sit in somewhere. What do you reckon? I think that look all right, don't you? Hmm. I'll we'll have to see. So that's as far as we've got, full of ideas. But the reason I've lined where this track goes is because I was going to texture this surface so it isn't perfectly flat. And I normally texture either by roughing it up or brushing over some of this decorator's chalk. The reason I use decorator's chalk and foam and that I don't use um, plaster bandage Simply because, with plaster bandage, if you want to put a tree in, you need to drill a hole. But with, if you put the flexible stuff down, or anything and you want to put a tree in, it'll just stick in. Where with plaster bandage, you've got one shot, basically. You drill your hole and it's got to go there. If you don't want it, then you need to move it at some point. You've got a hole to fill in or deal with. But with this, you can just take it out and move it to wherever you want, and it's not permanent, which is what I like. It's the whole thing I like about um, about using styrofoam instead of plaster band. And then trees will also poke through this decorative chalk when that's done, so we could texture this up but we need to leave it basically flat where our track goes because we've got to lay a little bit of ballast down there I have some fake grass some scatter so we can put a bit of scatter in there I think there's some bags of scatter under the bench as well so there are a lot of things we can do we'll get this looking nice we'll get this looking nice yeah, right, that's it don't think I'm going to do any more today because until this is dry, I can't really do a lot else. Because um, I need to wait till that's dry and get this, you know, get it decorated. Because we're going to have grass down here. There might, we might put some ballast around there. Or, I don't know, we'll do something with it. But this needs to be painted grey, which I'll show you how I'm going to dry brush that next time. Right, we basically get that rock looking like that. See that? That's, this is made out of the same. Um, yeah, it's made up the same stuff. I'll put the bust in. That was a big eight before sheet of insulation. But you'll see how I made the rocks all out of film. 
and they're all just dry brushed and painted. Even these little columns are made out of that blue XPS stuff. What's this doing on there? How did that get on my train? <sighs> it's a bit broken off. Oh dear. Right, anyhow, there we go. So yeah, we're gonna make this basically like so. We can color that rock in. And that'll make it look good. But yeah, I've got to do a miniature version of that on here. There we go. Right, I'm off. And I'll see you next time. Like and subscribe to the Man Cave on Train channel. Or you can skip over to my main channel, which is just Norfolk Man Cave. On there I do a lot of engine restorations and coal starts and stuff. Um, yeah, repairing things, fixing things. This is my second channel, which I'm trying to grow a little bit. And yeah, this is where I do my model railway. And I thought I'd do this diorama. Alright, see you guys next time. Bye-bye for now. Ha <laughs> ha.